So um, we're well familiar with functions. When you give them an input, they give you an output. If this output that you're getting is in the form of a vector, those are vector functions. Okay, the input remains the same. It's a variable. You give it a value. It gives you out an output which is in the form of a vector. Let's say we have R of T. Okay, this is a vector function. Okay, so I have that arrowhead over there. All right. This equals f of t my g of t. Okay. Now these are the component functions of this vector function. Okay, this is your vector function. And these are the component functions. You can call them the x you know they can be the x and y components, they can be the y and z components, they can be the x and z components. So they are the component functions basically. Right, so you give this function the input value, let's say t equals t naught, it gives you out r of t naught, which is in the form of a vector, and that's why you call them vector functions. Okay, uh, now these are uh, you can also take three components to specify three dimensions. All right. So here we have the x, y, and z components. These are the component functions. And this is your vector function. Again, you give it an input value t naught, and it gives you out this some output value r t naught, which is in the form of vector. Again, it is a vector function. Right. Let me just take an example. Um, let's say we have a vector function equals let's say t and t squared okay t and t squared right so now now I want to plot this function let me see what it looks like um, so what do I do I take some values of t let me take 0 1 2 and 3 okay good enough so r of 0 would be defined as 0 comma 0 okay now it is a vector or what do you call it it is a vector but now it is a position vector let me take t equals 1 so you get 1 and 1 again a position vector okay so about that right oh uh, by taking t equals to 2 you get 2 and 4 and in case of 3 you get 3 and 9 right let me just plot this. <coughs> okay. Um, the axes, since it is defined, you, you're defining two components, so you could just take it on the plane, right? Okay. First point here, when you're taking it to be zero, t equals zero, t equals one is somewhere here, one comma one, and then um. Uh, 2 comma 4 would go there 3 comma 9 would go like that okay so it would look like something like this this is the function which you're talking about okay there it goes quite similar to x squared right okay okay assume that to be straight a curve okay um now if i draw the individual position vectors okay I start with this putting t equal to 0 e, the position vector is just a point there or when you when you talk about this point the position vector will look something like that okay the third point there it goes you just join the origin to the point there okay. these are the position vectors of the individual points this is 0 1 2 and 3 which are the values of t Okay, so that is what the function would look like. So that's how you plot uh, the vector functions, and that is the basic, the basics, the very basics of vector functions. Okay, uh, let me just take another example. Um, let me take this to be t, and let's take the other one to be one. Okay, it is a constant. Okay, previously it was t and t squared. Now one of the component functions is actually a constant function. 
So we just follow the same procedure. Let's take t equals to zero. Okay, these are all vectors, right? Zero, one, 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 and so on. Oh, another one. There it goes. Okay. So for for all the values of this vector function, you will always have one as the second component. Let me take these as the x and y components. Okay. If I just don't mention them, they can be any two components. Okay. Don't have to worry about that. Um, zero comma one would be somewhere there, right? Oh, one comma one would be somewhere there. Two comma one somewhere there. And of course, it will go on since the second component is one. Even if you go for the negative values, go on like that. Okay. And now, if you draw uh, the function, it will look something like that. It will, it will look something like uh, y equals one, the line y equals one. And in fact, if you if you if you draw the position vectors, the individual position vectors, they will go like that. Okay, the individual position vectors. Okay, sorry, that's out of the way. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so uh, basically, you don't need to draw these position vectors. So the function would look like this. It would look like y equal to one, but it actually is a vector function. So that's how you plot vector functions and what they basically are.